Welcome back. We are very lucky once again to have another artist from Fresh Gallery back with us this time. Say hello to Plein Air artist and member of Fresh Gallery, Farley Lewis. Did I say that right, Farley? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can okay. say it any way you want to. Okay, well, I try. <laughs> it works. Um, I, you know, sometimes I say those things and I think I, I think that's right, but I'm not sure. Talk about yeah. what that means. Plein Air. Plein, plein Air. Plein well, Air. That's wrong. Plein no, air. no. People say Plein Air, too. <laughs> okay. It means, uh, it's a French term that means on site. I mean, looking at what you're painting, basically. Gotcha. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you're outside painting something, that's what they would call plein air or plein air. Learn oh, something new see, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. So it's in situ. You know, boom, what you're seeing is what's going to happen here then. All that's right. the idea. And that's the way you like to look at things and, yeah, and okay. portray. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That brings me to a project that Farley did this morning. Yeah. Which is this one right here. He did this this morning. I didn't do it plein air, though. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, I was going to say, this is going to tell us where you were this morning, so I want to know where yeah, you were. Wow, well, don't you wish you would have been there? Yeah, well, I was there recently. It's okay. a, a painting of a place I saw in Oregon about two months, three months ago. Uh, That's beautiful. beautiful this, this, I'm, I'm still astounded. He did it this morning. Uh-huh. Paint's not completely dry. We asked that question, yeah. and I'm not touching that. Um, so this was a place you visited in Oregon. Yes. How long did it take you to complete um, that work? Probably a couple hours. Okay. Yeah. Some what, of them take a lot longer than that. Oh, right? I would imagine. Yeah. What caught your eye about this? That kind of implanted it, or did you work from a picture? Or how I that? did. I worked from a photograph, uh -huh. and I, I loved that sense of depth looking down. I mean, this rock, it, I, we were standing next to a lighthouse, and it was just a gorgeous place. Mm -hmm. Mist in the air and seagulls crying and so yeah. The Oregon coast is is Oh it's stunning. Stunning. It is. Are there other Oregon coast paintings to come because of your trip that you found? Good chance. I would Good imagine. Chance. Every now and again something will mm -hmm. pop in your memory and you'll go, you know, I've got another one I think I'll do. Yep. Okay, well let's move on to this next one. Tell me what that's we have in the, the one, here. That's the house on Walnut Street. So picture me driving down Walnut Street. I look uh -huh. over, I see this sun hitting the side of this yellow house. It's just amazing. So I, you know, try not to cause a wreck, pull over, take a few pictures. And so. And there it is. Yeah. And our director actually said, I know where that is. And she yes, right. she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you saw that. You, the people who own the house or built the house or whatever did not commission you to do that. No. You just saw it and No, I just it. saw it and painted they don't. They, as far as I know, they haven't even seen the painting yet. So. I hope they're watching. Yeah. This, is yeah. this doesn't look beautiful. Yeah. The light hits no, it just right. You. It is stunning. Well, thank you. What about on the end here? This is the dry sack. Creek River, which is ah. a funny name for that place since the <laughs> river is almost Isn't never it? dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. <laughs> but, yeah, um, and uh, that's one of my favorite paintings. Um, it's one of my favorite places to go and paint. So uh, now it was about 10 degrees uh, that morning, so I didn't paint that plein air either. So ah, I went from much, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's just a real favorite place of mine. You don't get a view like that too often in the Ozarks where you've got that much snow waiting around. So you, you have to be timely with the, ooh, I'm going to get a picture of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So when, when I have, like you said, when I have snow, when I have something missed, um, real nice sunlight in the morning or something, I grab my camera and head for the woods. Grab it while yeah. you can. Yeah. That's a good thing. Or sometimes I grab my paints and head for the woods. Yes, uh -huh. if it's not like eight degrees. Why know. acrylic? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. I used to work in oils, and they smell up my house. <laughs> it's you know? simple, huh? Yeah, it's honestly, it's about we'll that simple. That. Yeah. yeah. We'll do so different. that's one of the big reasons I go with acrylic. And I used to do watercolor, too. And mm -hmm. I still enjoy watercolor. I just mm -hmm. kind of settle on acrylics. How many artists at Fresh Gallery? There's 22 of us. Okay. There, I think. Yeah. Okay. So. And we have talked about that on the show. If you haven't been in there, it's fascinating because there's so many different things that you can see that are just different works of art and the creativity and it makes me f realize I've never really learned to do anything well when I go in there and I see what you guys could do I'm thinking this is astounding to me it's a oh, it's a true craft you. and it's beautiful and we're blessed to have you, well, thank you. Um, and so these are on display many of them to purchase at Fresh Gallery yeah yeah we have 2d uh, 3d work mm -hmm. photography ceramics pottery uh, Woodwork, wood also yeah. work, jewelry, jewelry amazing. glass work. And another great reason to support local art. Absolutely. It really is. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thanks, thanks so much. Thanks so much for having me. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.